PC gamers and builders, today is a historic, monumental day. And what's happening tonight is that roughly at midnight on the East Coast, Ethereum is going to change the way that it secures its network. The Ethereum network here is changing. Crypto can move away from those miners. Ethereum just got revamped. According to its co-founder, Vitalik Buterin, the blockchain network has now completed the crypto's most ambitious change to date. The Ethereum network set to undergo a major upgrade. The merge. Merge. The merge. The merge. The merge. The merge. The merge. The merge. Big merge. The merge. Ethereum merge. The merge basically represents Ethereum uh, going completely from proof of work to proof of stake. The merge. Well, so what does that mean for us PC gamers and builders? Let's talk about it. So to give you guys a TLDR, basically what it all means is these things are going to become dirt cheap. So if you've been living under a barn for say the last five to six plus years or so or more, basically in essence what has happened in the markets in 2017 and lastly in 2020 where a lot of the graphics cards basically just went through the roof or just completely unavailable is the fact that they're used to do crypto mining. Now I'm not going to make this an entire spiel about crypto mining, what it's all about, how it's done, but in essence Crypto mining requires compute power, which GPUs offer the best compute power in order to do the crypto mining itself. So early on in the crypto mining crazes, it became very easy to buy yourself a four to $500 GPU or maybe even less if you're buying something like an RX 570, which retailed for around $150 to $170. You could quickly put it to work and make money off of these things. These were literally money printing machines when things were good and profitable. So now why is there a fallout? Well, Ethereum changing to a proof of stake Again, this isn't going to be a video on how all this stuff works. There is plenty of awesome content out there, but in essence, proof of stake means these GPUs are no longer valid for mining. So that doesn't necessarily mean that GPUs are actually completely useless when it comes to mining because there are coins out there that use GPUs to actually do the mining. It just means Ethereum and the Ethereum based network and coins on that network, which there are many versions of Ethereum based coins, basically cannot be mined through GPUs anymore. And that's where a lot of the profitability was with crypto mining. So a lot of people now after this merge are effectively literally turning off their machines. And even as we've seen before in some of my previous videos, people have already been getting rid of their inventory. So in the next coming, I'd say month or two, or maybe even less, I think we're gonna see some GPUs and the markets hit rock bottom, which is gonna be amazing for us gamers and PC builders. So to kind of reaffirmate a little bit of what I'm talking about, I just kind of want to go over a few things for you. First, let's just go take a look at how eBay looks in terms of prices of GPUs after the hit of the news of the merge. And let's see if we've already got some crypto miners really trying to bail out on their systems early before they can't make any money back at all. All right, so let's go over here and let's just type in RX 570. We're gonna come over here to buy it now and we're gonna do price plus shipping lowest first. Wow, we are seeing a hit quick. I remember when I did my $500 PC build, we actually had some GPUs that were edging around $100. Now it looks like there are tons under $100. When things were good before the crypto market really started to take off again in 2020, late 2019, I was getting RX 570 cards for uh, about $60 to $80. So it looks like things are really starting to return to normal as if the crypto mining craze didn't exist. Let's take a look at some other cards just to see what's going on. But that's just for the RX 570 4 gig. Actually, the 8 gigs were the big mining craze cards. So let's see where those prices are coming down to. Oh wow, they're basically almost exactly the same. When the mining craze was going on, if you could find one of these cards, you're going to spend like $500 to $600 because it was a money printing machine. All right, let's go to something like, uh, let's step it up a little. Let me go to like a GTX 1080. That was also a pretty decent card. All right, so on the G4 side, the GTX 1080, and looks like we're getting some 1080 Ti's here too, but look at this. Again, this is a card that was like worth nearly a thousand dollars when the mining craze was going on but we've got them under two hundred dollars when their msrps used to be something around six hundred dollars or more so clearly this is some inventory that's getting being gotten rid of what other car do we got i think the gtx 1660 supers were big on mining as well so let's take a look at that wow i mean we're getting some good prices here 
150 bucks, 155 bucks. That's a little bit more modern card than the RX 570 and definitely can way outpace it in terms of gaming. And we're basically looking at retail prices are cheaper here. This is awesome stuff. All right, so let's look at one of the cards that was a renowned mining card, the RX RTX 3070. All right, so oh, wow, 350 bucks. 400, I mean, that's also an EVGA Ultra card, but these were unheard of. Look at this, here is a miner definitely getting rid of their inventory. Got five of them. No way this is someone who just was doing lots of gaming. This is definitely a miner getting rid of their inventory. $409, buy it now. This person, if I were to guess, is probably selling these cards for way less than what they bought them for. Lastly, let's just take a look at something that is of a higher, tier state card from AMD just to see. We'll look at like a 6700 XT. And again, looking like the prices are just plummeting. This is good. This is what's good for us PC builders and gamers. I just want to also show you guys something that kind of will help you understand of why either people are literally getting rid of their inventory or why GPU mining in essence is no longer a profitable thing to do, at least in the now. Because as I mentioned, remember, there still are things out there that are mineable on GPUs, but through the current circumstances, especially with the Ethereum merge being the main contributing factor, there's kind of not really any money and any reason to have a crypto mining rig running right now. So if we come over to whattomine.org, you guys can kind of see this for yourself if you'd like to, but basically this is a site where a crypto miner will come in and plug in a GPU and the number of GPUs and their estimated kilowatt hour expense to see what is profitable and what to actually go mine. So this kind of gives us an idea of what it used to be in the heydays. I think a 3080 Ti or 3090, something like that would get you several dollars per day if ran 24 seven. Now, if we take a 3080, obviously we can't even look up the Ethereum networks anymore because they've been stripped completely from what is to mine because they're no longer mineable. The best, most profitable coin here we got is Ergo EGR coin, which if we look at what it'll give us, we're looking at about 26 cents per day. So uh, I don't know if that's really worth it to you. I mean, sure, that's after the cost of power, which we're factoring in a 15 cent kilowatt hour. But like I said, Ethereum would be several dollars a day on a 3080 Ti. And imagine if you had, you know, 10, 20, 3080 Ti's or whatever, or you're gonna have hundreds of dollars of revenue coming in per day. So I can understand why people did it, but now with the hash rates basically through the roof, all of even these coins that are profitable and even some aren't, this is actually reporting a loss if you try to mine some of these coins like Zeno and uh, RYO, I don't even know what that coin is. It's saying don't even turn the rig on because you're gonna lose money by doing so. So what do I mean by hash rates being through the roof? So imagine you have 8 million something 3080s on the network and you're mining along on ergo hash and then all of a sudden all that compute power is stripped away from the ethereum network and now is redistributed into something like the ergo hash rate so that's kind of what a lot of people do with crypto mining is they'll join these networks that will basically mine multiple coins at the same time and now you've got this massive influx of hash rate. So where this was streaming along just before the day of the merge, we ergo hash, for example, is at 31 ish, 30 tera hash per second or per, yeah, per second. And then after the merge, it nearly 5x, like 250 tera hash. It kind of jumped back down. So this might have been where people are actually turning rigs off because they're like, well, I'm not making any money and I'm just wasting electricity. And it's starting to normalize a little bit lower than the spike. So the spike, as you can see, was last night, roughly sometime early this morning, where we've got the Ethereum network that's been completely shut down from mining. The same thing can be seen with all these other coins that are still mineable with GPUs and modern day consumer grade equipment, but the hash rates have gone so far up that the difficulty in return, if you look at that, goes through the roof as well, which means that the profitability goes down in the toilet. Again, here's another one. They're, they're all following the same trend of after Ethereum gets shut down, the difficulty and the hash rate go through the roof to the point of it's not even worth turning on your machine. So guys, I just kind of wanted to make a video that kind of really tailors to the current kind of pulse of the market 
GPUs are going to be the cheapest they've ever been. There's going to be tons and tons and tons of inventory. In fact, I think this will be the time of when we see the lowest value in GPUs ever in the history of what I've seen since I've been a PC builder, at least running this channel over the last several years. But also I didn't want to make this video super, super technical regarding the cryptocurrency stuff and how it all works. I don't 1000% have a full understanding of that, but what I do know is the contributing factor being Ethereum is now dead in the water and things like this are gonna be easy to get into anybody's hands. So I think all of us gamers and PC builders are sitting fat and happy and might be you know, laughing just a little bit at the, the mining culture. Sorry guys, but you know we've been waiting for our turn and now it is here. So thanks for tuning into this one guys. I appreciate your time and I'll catch you in the next one.